I'm testing it out for you guys so I can give you an honest review. Let's go ahead and test this trend. Let's see if it works. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I think I need a bit. Okay, no, that's fine. I really am nervous about this because I don't know if this is actually gonna work. hi guys welcome to my channel so as for the title today we're going straight into it for not even wasting any time i did miss you a lot and yeah as you can see evidently i've already done my brows i've already done my eyes and everything i'm just gonna go ahead and do this trend we're doing this trend right here i'm gonna stick it up either this side or this side but it's a tiktok trend of one layer makeup and i think it's quite ideal especially in the sense that it's in summer and it's really getting hot so you don't want layers and layers of makeup on your face and i thought well this could be a good idea to actually try it out and see if it actually works yeah so we're trying it out and if it works it's gonna be my go-to for days when i don't want to put layers and layers of makeup and also because it's hot sometimes like you know skin's gonna breathe child skin's gonna breathe so anyway let's jump right into it so um i'm gonna be using uh this foundation the maybelline um fit me foundation has concealer reason being um because I've actually run out of the illegal concealers and I normally just like to use this I prefer using this over that if I'm being honest um, so as for the usual I'm pumping in a few pumps of it on my silicone and we're just gonna go ahead and put a concealer there that we would normally put so that's my chin of course under my eye bags I normally don't put like under all my eye bags like to cover the whole space under my eye bags reason being i want my face to be slightly lifted so this is how i normally put my concealer oops we got a bit of concealer on my lashes not too bad and the other side as well this would just and you really have to know the shape of your face and when it comes to concealer and just concealing and contouring yeah you really have to understand your face shape mm, i'm gonna put a bit slightly here and reading the forehead as well as the bridge of my nose And then, where else do I need concealer? There. Okay, so these are the areas that I want to highlight. And I'll just put a bit around my nose. I find that this kind of helps with the snatching of my nose. <laughs> Believe it or not, it does. So that's it and then we're going to go in with now the contouring yeah and i'm using the same it's also a little kind of mini foundation but i'm using a darker one just to contour tiny bit on my silicone patch 
and I'm going in. I'm going in now with this. Uh, let's start on the nose. Just drag that down. a divider there and of course just go in and feel where my cheekbones are just slightly below just where they are already laid our edges so <laughs> we don't want to you know mess that up okay I think this is where I need the contour um, the other thing I don't have I don't have a liquid blush so I opted to use it slides to the pinkish but it's kind of like in between a pink and a reddish uh, lipstick and I'm gonna try and use this as um, blush because what I have has blush is in powder form I have also uh, contoured my jawline and let's go ahead and test this trend let's see if it works fingers crossed fingers crossed so before i actually start blending it i'm gonna just um spray it with the setting spray just to keep um the products moist as i go so you start from the light side and you blend out the light part which is a concealer and you go to the dark which is uh contour and then of course last but not the least you're gonna uh, spread out your um blush yeah in this case i use lipstick let's see if it works so you kind of spray your setting spray along as you go so to say um let's see so far not bad but let's see until the very end <laughs> no comments for now um I've seen work I've seen this work for a lot of TikTokers this trend but I'm testing it out for you guys so I can give you an honest review because if it works like it's a bonus yeah like having to just do one layer of foundation without actually even putting foundation like if I was just using concealer so this this is great if it does work okay it's blending very well so it's just you have to be careful <laughs> And not some mix and you know not mix um, the products because there's contour, there's blush, and of course the concealer. So you definitely don't want to mix no product.
about a bit of um, highlights to the cheeks on to the <clears throat> contour let's start from the bottom let me spray the setting spray once more oh i think i put a bit too much i think i put a, i think i put a bit too much but yeah let's go on and just into her face, give it a bit of shape. <laughs> How are you guys loving this so far? Seems okay so far, but um, comments reserved. <laughs> I'm gonna comment once everything is done. Yeah, I'm gonna comment once everything is actually done. There's a very thin line between this contour on my cheekbone and this blush. So I have to be extra careful. And let's just seal off the ends think I need a bit okay no that's fine now the blush I really am nervous about this because I don't know if this lipstick is actually gonna work if it was spread out or oh. I forgot about the nose uh, contour yeah but I'll do that I'll go in and some down here okay I love the fact that this lipstick is working as a blush <laughs> not so bad hey eh? the nose <laughs> Okay, let me just set the concealer part. So I'm gonna be setting it with this loose powder. Let me just brush off the excess. I think it's done. Okay, not bad. This is how we're looking. It's not actually bad. It's quick and you're not really having a whole lot of makeup so that's a good thing um you're not having you know layers and layers of makeup i'll rate it i'll rate this trend let me just come back put on my lipstick oh no i can put the lipstick on yeah i'm gonna go with the nude let me just line my lips. I'm using this eyebrow pencil. I think I'll go full on with this. I'm using this.
and then just go in again just setting spray okay i let this set for a bit okay so we're done and this is what we're looking like i love 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 it guys like honestly i love it it feels so light it looks good and i don't have to have like six seven layers of makeup and i can still look good you know so yeah it's a win i'll give it a 10 out of 10 yeah try this let me know what you guys think but definitely something that you should try especially for those days when you're just feeling lazy and you know it's not all the time that you want makeup and sometimes it's just hot of a day and you still want to look on point but not with the stress that comes with putting on layers and layers of makeup so this is definitely a plus love it until the next one bye guys well it's waiting half a step beyond our door yeah. and if it's